VC, Uncle Ross here again. More records. It's Saturday um, afternoon and this morning a nice fat box of records arrived from um, various uh, places in the United States actually. Um, had a package that was consolidated with the post office um, U post or U, U shop website which basically I can send various packages within the states or Canada from Canada or even I guess um, if I wanted to to a central address in the United States where they then consolidate the packages it actually saves me a considerable amount of postage um, so I pay the internal postage in the states which is about five US bucks um, and then consolidate that to get that in a bunch of parts so I had Seven records arrived this morning, and it's nice that it arrived on a Saturday, so it actually gives me time to sit down and um, add them to my Discogs list and have a listen to some of them. Yeah, so the first one that arrived, well, the first one is one I'm playing at the moment, and this is Gate. Gate is um, this is New Zealand, a New Zealand record, but like a lot, a lot of them, we have to get them from overseas. Um, it's released on an English label, I think. Not sure. The MIE Records, the MIE Music. Um, so Saturday Night Fever is the name of this album. Gate is Michael Morley, who is one third of the Dead Sea, who I've spoken about before. Uh, and this is an album from last year. I've only got one other Gate album um, at the present time, and I have a Michael Morley album, which I think I showed in my last video, or, or the video before, whatever. So yeah, this is this album's had a lot of exposure on the New Zealand Facebook page, and it's been highly recommended. And it's a lot, it sounds, I think it's a lot different, and certainly a lot different from the earlier album I had of his. Um, still grony in places, but there's a lot more melody and things happening in here. Uh, so I'll, I'll go through the New Zealand ones perhaps first. Um, so this is an album by a band called Trash. It's from 1992. Um, released on Turbulence Records out of Belgium, but this was actually an original Expressway record, but it probably was only released in New Zealand on cassette, because Expressway didn't do a lot of vinyl, they did mostly cassettes back in their day. Um, haven't had a chance to listen to this, um, but again, it's quite highly recommended through some of the local collectors. Um, they were from Dunedin. I think I am familiar with one of the tracks off it that I've heard on a podcast. So I shall get around to playing this very soon. Uh, again, I have to get this stuff from overseas, it just doesn't turn up in our shops. Um, this is, looks like it's in pretty good nick, and the vinyl's in pretty good nick. It was, it was listed as near mint. Unfortunately, some of the listings and some of the ratings on Discogs aren't the best. And what they say they are aren't. This one I've been trying to get for quite a while. Um, I actually had ordered it from Amazon and it got sent back for some reason. We've had a couple of issues with with albums in the post. Now I used to look while I had CDs off Amazon in the UK and never had any trouble. The postage from the UK is extremely cheap compared to the rest of the world for us. And um, this album here, Hermione Johnson and Stephen Neville. Stephen Neville's from Pumice, who I showed a couple of records of recently. Um, this again is one I mean, yeah, like I say, I tried it. The album's called Scrum, sorry. and I saw Hermione playing at the Lines of Flight Festival in Dunedin earlier this year and she is absolutely amazing. She played a prepared piano, um, a piece of sublime violence and passion and uh, just, just, it was absolutely outstanding. I mean it was, I guess it was improvised at the time, uh, um, but yeah she's a massive major talent um, and great that she's a Kiwi. Um, so there's a, there's a track I'd heard of this on one of Chris's podcasts, which has attracted me to it, which I was really impressed. So I'm really glad to have that. This is on Feeding Tube Records, so again out of the States. Um, recorded in Auckland and Waiatura, Waiatura, Tarua, 
well, I'm not sure where that is, but it'll be somewhere in the North Island, in 2014 and 15. Yeah, Hamoni is playing prepared piano and drums. Stefan is playing drums, uh, tape, and prepared pianos. Uh, also on Feeding Tube Records, let's see if I can get the cover up the right way, is this one. The Coolies. The album is called Kaka. This is very, very lo-fi, sort of post-punk indie rock. And uh, I listened to, there was one again, another song I heard on Chris's radio show podcast, which I really enjoyed. Um, yeah, that on first listen, it's very, very low fi so it's going to take a wee bit of getting into that. Um, and like a lot of this stuff, yeah, New Zealand music, it, it is very low fi there's not, it's not high fidelity stuff. A lot of these guys are recording and stuff in home studios, and, and it's deliberate too, a lot of it. Um, this one someone had posted on the New Zealand, this is not a New Zealand out, outfit, this is called The Sneaks, and I've seen it on the New Zealand Vinyl Lovers website, uh, Facebook page, had a listen to it on their Bandcamp page, this is from Merge Records, this is a 45 RPM 12 inch EP, there's actually five songs on each side, but they're pretty short, this is an awesome post-punk, I, when I first heard it, I actually said, is this from like the 19, late 1970s or something, because it's, it's, it's the perfect um, replica of that sort of music from back then, and the female bands like the Raincoats and the Shop Assistants, and fits right into that kind of era, and, uh, but it's actually from 2015, this is the Merge Records reissue, it was issued on a smaller label uh, in 2015, um, so this is actually the second edition on a different label. Uh, and then a couple of compilations um, that I picked up, I actually, these were on my want list on Discogs, and I actually bought these from the sellers who sold me the Gate and the Trash albums. And it just meant that I could get a couple of albums for the same amount of money postage, so I'm saving a bit on postage. But and, it's, and they were on my wants list. This is a compilation called Bowling Balls from Hell on Clone Records out of Arcon, Ohio. This is from 1980. Um, actually, opens with the track "Wait Here, I'll Be Right Back" by the Waitresses, and I didn't know the name of that song, but I know the song very well. Um, and it's a really cool song, and many people may remember it. Um, and then the rest of it's more minimal synth, experimental type stuff. Yeah, really cool. Now this is, as I said, 1980. This was actually still sealed, so that's so cool. A brand new album. I mean, and you're looking at, and when you look at it, and and when I took out the um, insert, you could see, even though it was sealed, it had aged. A little bit, and so yeah, this is authentically an authentic 1980 unsealed. Well, it was unsealed until now, of course. I've already unsealed it and played it, but um, yeah, that was out of it. Get a full, a, a completely sealed record from 1980, so that's what 37 years it's been sitting in someone's collection unopened. And lastly, in, the, in today's arrivals, is this one. Uh, this is called. Hang on. Voices, notes, and noise. Now, this is quite bizarre packaging. So, this is the cover, sort of, so to speak, or the artwork. So, this is like a bunch of photographs on a plastic sheet, kind of like a negative. Looks like kind of like a negative film situation. Then, the vinyl is a nice, clear, see-through vinyl. Now, the seller. He said that it was very good plus, and so he rated it as that, and he said, he said, oh, it's a bit hard to grade a, a white vinyl, because of course you can't see it, but part grading can actually be listening to it, and unfortunately, he hadn't listened to it. He graded it very good plus. It's got quite a lot of surface noise, and the record's stuck briefly in several places, especially on the end of side one, which I'm hoping he may be able to resolve that with a good cleaning when I get some cleaning for it. And the record then came, also came in this plastic sleeve, and this actually has, you can't, you probably can't see it on the camera, so it's, getting, it's a bit grubby from, you know, age, because it's from 1984, but it's got all the names, the bands and details um, printed on the, on the outside of that, so, so it doesn't have a plastic, uh, sorry, a cardboard sleeve as per se, 
Um, so that's, a, that's quite an interesting thing. It's very, uh, it's sort of electronic um, from Germany, electronic, industrial, experimental, kind of weird stuff. But also this week, um, I actually bought a couple of seven inches, and now I know I've said before I don't like seven inches particularly, but this is the only music of this band. Um, again, so Chris Walker, who is a, a fountain of information for me for New Zealand music, and excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> excuse me. His last record, his last vinyl, sorry, his last podcast was a seven inch special. And I thought, great, I won't probably be buying much off his, off his um, playlist this week, but this month, but unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, he played a track by this band, Ginzu and the Steak Knives. This is the Final Forms EP. This is yeah, fairly much self-released. Is there a record label? Not really, no. So it's, it's just a um, fold-out sleeve. Standard black seven inch. Uh, these are four, five tracks. This is I would describe it as punk metal. So it's got, it's got, it's like yeah, it's heavy rock, heavy metalish, styled heavy rock, but it's got a real punk attitude to it. Um, so yeah, it's a kind of a, that's what I would describe it. And then their other album, uh, sorry, the other 45, which is full of stickers as well. Um, this is their first EP again, five songs, um, pretty short because it's all 45 RPM. This one on nice orange vinyl. And again, it's self-release stuff that they sold basically straight through their van camp um, site. So, yeah, um, only a limited edition of 60, I think, of each of these. So I was lucky that they were still available, but, you know, these guys are just... These kind of bands are just hobby bands. I mean, the guys all probably work normal jobs like me, and then you know get together and play gigs and weekends and get, you know in their spare time, um, you know when you're selling only 60 copies of a record, you're not ever going to make any money. And you, um, love to see them come down and play a gig or two down here. There's quite a few heavy rock bands floating around up in the North Island that I'm kind of starting to learn about, it, and it'd be nice to see them come and play down here. Um, there was, there was that band I talked about last, my last video I think, about called Big Sci Black Science, who, who actually went and picked up their record from their gig, although I didn't actually go to their gig because I was in another gig, but um, yeah, so they played down here, so there is the occasional time that they come down here, but these bands, you know, as I say, they're amateur bands, so just playing for a bit of fun and a bit of good time, and, 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 they're, and, and they're usually quite good, but they don't attract a lot of attention, so they don't get a lot of people coming to their gigs. So the cost of them coming down across the island, from the North Island, across the ferry, or flying down, or whatever, it, um, they're never going to get their money, make their money back on that um, with the sort of crowds they pull here. And their tickets are like usually only 10, 5, 10 bucks. So anyway, so that's today's haul. I've still got another bunch of records in the mail. Um, coming out of Europe, so they should be here in the next week or so. And tomorrow there's actually a record fair in Littleton, which I didn't know. I just managed to find out about kind of at the last minute. Um, and I've had a few of them, and they're not particularly well advertised, obviously. So I've managed to find their Facebook page, so next time I'll know. But um, hopefully tomorrow, Lynn and I are going into town. Um, I've got a concert on in the morning, uh, in the afternoon, at the Blue Smoke um, for the Miltons, which I showed their record recently. So we're looking forward to that. Okay, that's me. See you next time.